Kent Keegwin wanted a significant slice of what John Watson had accumulated professionally. Watson had retired with a small fortune from pharmaceutical and biotech and remained involved with venture capital projects. Keegwin had tried to ingratiate himself with Watson, feigning friendship. Watson purposely kept his distance and knew Keegwin was both dishonest and facing financial ruin. Keegwin opened email and stock trading accounts in Watson's name. He acquired a taser and followed Watson's movements with a GPS tracking device on his car. On Sunday, June 6, 2009, he followed Watson secretly into his La Jolla condo. He tasered him and the two men struggled until Keegwin strangled Watson to death. Over the next week, he attempted to open a $5 million Scott trade account in Watson's name. He nearly succeeded, but on the day before the money transferred, he made a return visit to Watson's condo where he was detained. He would die in prison never having enjoyed one cent of his duplicity.